Clash in session. Class in session. Today we had two warrior traders to their respect the empires. Bordark versus Omni Man. In order to find out who wins, we'll use nine criteria. We got intelligence, strength, speed, combat, durability, and vulnerability, energy projection, versatility, and TOT. That one thing. That one thing that could possibly sway the fight into that person's favor. Background. If you're a Dragon Ball fan, you need to know the legend of Bardock, the father of Goku, and a Saiyan like no other. His story? Epic. Bardock, a low-class Saiyan soldier with the heart of a lion. Serving under King Vegeta, he fought with unmatched strength and pride. But Bardock wasn't just any warrior. His combat skills were legendary, his spirit unbreakable. In the battle against the Kanassans, Bardock was gifted a psychic vision, a glimpse of Frieza's betrayal and the doom of planet Vegeta. He could have fled, but no. Bardock chose defiance. Charging solo at Frieza's fleet, he fought through with a blazing final spirit cannon. In his final stand, Bardock faced Frieza, knowing the odds. His energy blast met Frieza's, leading to the catastrophic end of planet Vegeta. But Bardock's legacy didn't end there. His vision of the future foretold his son, Goku, rising as the universe's savior. Bardock's courage, his foresight in saving Goku and his unyielding spirit make him a true Saiyan legend. The untold story of Bardock, a warrior whose legacy lives on. None. But the man behind the mask is more than just a hero. He's a conqueror, a father, and a redeemed villain. Nolan Grayson, better known as Omni-Man, is a Viltrumite, a super-strong alien from a race obsessed with conquering planets. He came to Earth as our savior, marrying Debbie Grayson and fathering Mark, our very own Invincible. With strength that can topple mountains, flight faster than a jet, and durability that laughs in the face of destruction, Omni-Man is nearly unstoppable. But his story isn't just about power. Initially, Nolan was Earth's hidden threat, sent to prepare our world for Viltrumite rule. Yet over time, he began to see humanity through the eyes of his family. The love for his wife and son sparked a transformation turning him against his own kind. Omni-Man's journey from a ruthless conqueror to a protector fighting for redemption is a tale of epic proportions. He is proof that even the mightiest can change, driven by the most human emotion of all, love. If you're still here watching this battle, come back soon to check out this one. In fact, just subscribe so you don't miss it when it drops. Clash in session. Class in session. Hey, let's get right into it. Intelligence. Despite being a mere low-class warrior, Bardark is an incredibly skilled warrior. He stood as one of the Saiyans best in his time, easily taking over planets alongside his crew. An activity that he took great pride and enjoyment from. Bardark and Omni-Man are titled with being gifted when it comes to intelligence, but I'm edging this round to Omni-Man. His mastery of various Viltrumite combat techniques and skills, thousands of years of experience fighting both powerful and diverse enemies who have various ability and powers is what I'm betting on that's going to help him take this round. Omni-Man takes this round. Strength. Omni Man lifting strength is class Z, comparable to a Vetromite War, invincible, superior to Tech Jacket. And his striking strength is small planet level, but I'm giving this round to Bordark. Though his lifting strength is class P, higher as a great ape, it is his striking strength that makes up for it. His striking strength is small star level up to small star level plus. After his Zenkai, a large star level. As a great ape, 10 times stronger than his base form, Bardock takes this round. Speed. Bardock is faster than Light Plus, while Omni-Man is massively faster than Light Plus. Flew from Earth to the Virgo Super Cluster within a week. Able to hold his own against Thread, who can re you know react to his flight speed. Also fought with Post Power Up Allen. You know, Alan the Alien, who could dodge Vetromite ships. Omni-Man takes this round. Combat. 
These two warriors have many years and battles that they can contest their combat skills. But for me, when it comes down to hand to hand combat, I'm giving this round to the Master Martial Art Board Arc. So, yeah, Board Arc takes this round. Durability. The ability to withstand wear pressure or damage. Omni Man takes this round with his regeneration, which is mid to low. You know, so yeah, Omni Man takes the durability round. Invulnerability, the quality of being impossible to damage or hurt in any way. I'm giving this round to the warrior that is wearing a armor that is designed to absorb impacts and dissipate damage from attacks and or energy attacks. Over the person who doesn't wear any armor at all. So, Bordark takes this round. Energy projection. Omni Man doesn't have any energy projection, but Bordark does. He has abilities such as Flash Spirit, Full Power, Energy Wave, Final Spirit Cannon, Explosive Wave, Rebellion Spear, Final Revenger, Giga Meteor Storm, Power Ball, Key Explosion, Raging Meteor, and many more. While we edit, Let's give the versatility around the board art as he has more in his arsenal with abilities like key manipulation, heat generation, information analysis, great eight transformation. Yeah, and that great eight transformation gives him even more of uh, uh, versatility, you know. So, hey, board art takes both energy projection and versatility. TOT, that one thing that could change the match, I'm leaning towards Bardark's precognition. Bardark would give him the ability of precognition foresight by an alien race. With this, he collapses and during his recovery, he sees visions of Planet of a Cheetah and the same race. It's through his ability of foresight that I believe would give Bardark the heads up and the edge over a threat like Omni-Man. Bardark takes this round. So there you have it, Border as the winner. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time when class is in session. Class in session.